bright duty. Every student matters. Now we are going to take the questions based on the same topic. So the very short question answers we are taking here based on the topic of Mahatma Gandhi. What system of education was proposed by Mahatma Gandhi? So here we have to give the answer in brief because it's a very short question answer. We can mention that Mahatma Gandhi proposed Vardha scheme of education. That was Vardha scheme of education. It was also known as Buniyadi Shiksha or Nai Talim. So we have to mention about that name also. And the main, if we talk about it was famous with the name Basic Education. So we have to mention that this was the system of basic education or the Vardha scheme of education that was introduced by Mahatma Gandhi. The another very short question based on the same topic they have asked, when was the Vardha scheme of education accepted? So we have to mention in October, in October 1937 at the All India, at the All India National Education Conference in October 1937 at the All India National Education Conference, which was held at Varda only. The principle of basic education of Gandhiji or given by Gandhiji was accepted as the scheme of education suitable for India. The second one they have asked define or what is basic education. So we have to define the meaning of that. The basic is the term derived from the word base, which means bottom or the foundation. That word has been derived from this base, which means foundation. Therefore, we can define the basic education is the fundamental to the whole scheme of education. It is the basic, it is because minimum learning must be acquired by the average child, and that is the meaning of this basic education. And why we are taking it as a basic? Because it is related to the basic needs of a child. The second one, the next one they have asked, what do you understand by earning while learning? So under this we can say that Gandhiji supported self-sufficient idea or self-sufficient education keeping in mind with the view of one's needs, the basic needs. They must be able to get to know about their basic needs and they should be able to acquire all those with the help of their learning. These basic needs include their food, shelter and clothing. And while they are learning, while they are involved in these craft activity, they should earn along with the same and they should be able to fulfill all these basic needs to the same. And here the two different points of view of these he has also mentioned. That also you can provide here. Education helps to be self-sufficient. And the second one if we talk about, it helps to meet one's expenses. So, that means earning while learning. Now we are moving to the short question answer where question number 5 they have asked based on the same topic. Explain the concept learning by doing. Learning by doing if we talk about has been taken as one of the merit of basic education. We have to mention that. And here if we talk about we can say that it is absolutely wrong to think that the true education is acquired from the books only. No. Other things are also there. Your physical environment, your social environment which is helping you to learn the things from your surroundings. And According to that, the chalk and talk method is also not approved by Mahatma Gandhi. And according to Mahatma Gandhi, he used to believe that school must be the place for doing the different activities and the different things. Instead of just learning or reading the things from the book. Now we are moving to the long answer type question. Where the question number third, they have asked based on the same topic that discuss the educational philosophy of Mahatma Gandhi. If we talk about we have to discuss here that what was the actual philosophy of Mahatma Gandhi and this is the long answer type. So we have to write down the answer in detail. 
with intro as well as with the conclusion. And the main heading will be given in the explanation we need to get. So we have to mention that what were the different points included by Mahatma Gandhi as per his philosophy of education, where he emphasized on education on education in mother tongue. Secondly, he talked about the free and free and compulsory education. Then education should be craft centered where he talked about the integration of all the subjects with the craft. So he focused on the integrated learning also. Then he then uh, we can mention that also that he emphasized on the education based on self sufficiency and decide that education based on non violence also. So all these are the philosophies of Mahatma Gandhi that you have to mention. After giving the heading we need to explain each and every point with the help of the example. Question number four based on the same topic they have asked just as the aims of education according to Mahatma Gandhi. That what were the different aims of education? So here we have to mention about the both the ultimate aim as well as the immediate aim according to Mahatma Gandhi, the aims of the education. So ultimate aim if we talk about that will include knowledge of God, self-realization, spiritualism and oneness with God. And if we talk about the immediate aim that is going to be all round personality development of a child, preparing them for complete living that will also include their character building. All these are the points we have already discussed in detail. Simply you just have to put the headings and need to explain it accordingly. Then it can also include training for training for citizenship. Then we can also mention about the cultural aim, another ultimate aim, harmonious development. Yes, so all these are going to be mentioned here in detail. The aims of education, ultimate aim you have to define that we have already discussed here the four main aims related to the God and specialism and the other immediate aims also we have discussed. So you need to give the heading and need to explain it. The next question they have asked, the next part based on that higher order thinking skills. Question number two, they have taken from the same topic that in what way Gandhiji's basic education is helpful to fulfill the needs of Indian Villages. So here we have to include the merit of basic education related to the same. Although we are going to give the intro in the beginning and conclusion will be given, and then you can include the main merits related to the same topic that they have asked. So here we can mention how the basic education is going to help to fulfill the needs of the Indian villages. So we can mention the first point. It will help to increase the production as the people will be involved in the different productive activity and it will enhance and enhance economic growth also. Yeah. The next one can be taken social activities and the community life, social activities and community life is also going to help in fulfilling the needs of the villages because apart from craft, productive activities and the other occupations also find an important place in the curriculum of the basic school. So somewhere it is going to help that in the way and decide that the self-sufficiency Another merit of this basic education is one which is going to make the person self-sufficient and fulfill all their needs. So, same way it is going to help the Indian villages to grow and develop. 